Hello everybody, welcome to Mr. Stanier's Chess Academy. This is lesson five. Um, this is the beginners course and we're just gonna have a very quick lesson today. Um, I'm just gonna teach you one thing, one new thing about chess. So um, at last lesson we found out about a new rule uh, called castling. Um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna find out yet another new rule. So, uh, so we know how the pieces move. Uh, we know what checkmate is, we know what check is, and we know what castling is. Now, uh, we're now going to come to a very complicated rule. So you need to make sure you're concentrating fully, get rid of all distractions, put your phone in a different room, shut down any other browser tabs, concentrate on this. OK, so uh, as we know, 400 years ago, there were new rules introduced to the game of chess to, to speed it up. OK, one of these rules was that chess pieces that the pawns could move instead of one uh, step forward, which is really slow, that actually in the first move of any pawn, it can move two spaces forward. And also to speed games up, uh, the castling rule was introduced so that the king could get to the, the, the corner quickly. OK, so uh, and, and the queen, the way the queen could move was uh, put to any 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 number of squares in any direction rather than just one. So various rules were made to speed the game up. Now, um, as these rules were, were, were rolled out and people began to play chess, um, there was a situation which arose in games of chess, which people thought wasn't fair. And it, it looked kind of like this. So, so if my pawn was on the fifth rank here. Now, if my opponent, following the olden days rules before all these changes, was to move his pawn there, then I'd have the opportunity to take it. Yeah, which I might want to do. However, with the new rules, well, I say new, 400 year old rules, the player could now move one, two spaces forward. And I don't have the opportunity to take the pawn here. So, so people complained about this. They said, well, this is, this is destroying the game of chess. So a new rule was introduced. Now, this rule is called en passant. You might think, that sounds French. That's because it is en passant. What it means in French, it means as you pass or in passing. So the idea is that, that if... Uh, the opponent's pawn passes your opportunity to take it in their first move. The next move, and only on the next move, you can take the pawn by moving here, as if the pawn had just moved one square. Okay, so let's just go down slow motion. The pawn goes one, two, well, I'm a bit annoyed because had it only gone one, it would have gone there, I could have taken it. So I'm going to take it anyway. And there we are. That is the en passant rule because you can take the pawn as it passes you by. Okay. There. And it's taken. Now, a couple of things. A couple of things which uh, beginner players get a little bit confused on. First of all, you can only do en passant the very next move. So this isn't en passant. So if you do, if black does this, and then white's next move is to move this piece, and then black won't do this, for example, white can't do en passant now. It's not allowed because it's not the very next move. You, you moved the knight instead. OK, so you can only do it the very next move after uh, the opponent player has gone two spaces forward. All right. Um, another another little thing which which some players get confused with is if if it's not on the fifth rank. So say your pawns here and the opponent's pawns here and the opponent pawn moves here. You can't do all pass on because it's not this piece's first move and they haven't moved to. All right, so you can't do all pass on in that situation. Your pawn has to be on the fifth rank or on the 
fourth rank if you're black. Okay, so you can do all pass all there like that. Okay, so, so don't make mistakes. Also, if you're on the sixth rank and the player does this, you can't do one pass on here, I'm afraid, nor can you do it here. Your pawn has to be on the fifth rank. So this rule, um, you rarely have to put it into operation, okay? It's very rare that it happens, but when it does happen, it's one of those things which might give you an edge against a, a beginner or even an intermediate player who doesn't know about these rules, okay? Because it happens so rarely, um, it surprises people and you might have an argument about it, you might have to go and Google it and he'll be proved right. But it is a, a rule that is part of the standard rules of chess, okay? Some players say, are we playing the en passant rule? And of course the answer is always yes, because you're playing chess and um, and those are rules of chess. Okay, so I'll just show you en passant uh, if you were black. So um, if we had the situation, and then black moves his pawn here. If white does this, then en passant is moving this pawn there and taking that. Okay, so en passant, um, make sure, maybe set up the board. Try a few different uh, examples of en passant yourself. I'll put some uh, en passant questions um, into one note, um, but um, hopefully become familiar with this rule because uh, it's one of the rules of chess.